look at problem number two. If the age that a person receives their bachelor's degree is normally distributed with an average age of 28 and a standard deviation of 6, find the following. Now normally you're not asked part A and B, but I'm asking them so I can show some comparison. You're usually just asked part B. And also I don't remember where I got this problem from, so I don't know that these statistics are correct for our day and age. But in part A, we're asked to find the probability that a randomly selected individual received their bachelor's degree between the ages of 25 and 29. So as I always like to do, I draw my bell-shaped curve centered over 28, just so I have a bearing that 25 is to the left of it and 29 is to the right of it. Because it asked that they got their degree between those ages, then I'm going to shade in between those, and now I need to start solving the problem. N equals one. Right, we're just working with an individual person. So sometimes I like to write this, it helps me out. But basically I'm working with a single data point. And actually I have two single data points. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with when X is 25 and use the Z equals X minus mu over sigma formula. And I find that it's negative a half a standard deviation below average. And you know, one thing I want to point out is n was 1. If you had forgotten and you used the other formula where you took the square root of n, you'd be taking the square root of 1, but the square root of 1 is just 1, and 6 divided by 1 is just 6. So in the end, you still end up dividing by 6. So my little secret is if you're ever not sure if you should divide by the square root of n, do it every time. It's always going to work so long as you know you knew that n was 1 correctly for this problem. Okay, now I need to move on to the next part. When x is 29, the second age we're interested in, so again, plugging it into formula, I get a z-score formula that keeps going. So remember, we always just use two-digit z-score formula, so I had to round this one. Now I'm ready to use the table. If you don't use the table on every probability question, you probably did something wrong. For area in between z-scores, I find the z-score that came from the further away data point. So in this case, the 29. And when I work with that z-score, I go to the edge of the table for 0.17. And in the middle, I find the 56, 75. And remember, if I'm doing in between, I don't need to worry that it's everything to the left of that. I just go ahead and look up the next z-score of negative 0.50 to get 30.85. And then I need to subtract those. I kind of ran out of room. But I'll get 0.2590, and that gives me the answer that I can go ahead and list as 25.9%. So there's a 25.9% chance that any randomly selected individual has received their bachelor's degree between age 25 and 29. Now on to part B. This one asks the probability that a randomly selected sample of 10 people, so not one person, but this group, um, received their bachelor's degree between 25 and 25, 29. Now it doesn't say average, but that a sample of 10 kind of implies that we're referring to an average. So remember, my bell-shaped curve is going to be a lot skinnier this time. I tried to stack my 28. It looks kind of weird. But, and the fact that it's skinnier doesn't matter because the pictures just remind me to subtract the two areas. But now I have n equals 10. So instead of a single data point, I'm working with a group data set. 10 people's age they got their bachelor's degree that I'm going to average out. Also notice n is not greater than or equal to 30, but we were told that the population is normally distributed. Uh, I cannot find that up here. Normally distributed. So that allows us to go ahead and continue using the z-score formula. So I again go with x is 25, plug it into the new formula, and get z equals negative 1.58. Remember, I'm dividing by the square root of 10. I wrote the formula a little different here, but I'm still dividing by the square root of the sample size. And I continue this for my next age, 29, 
plug it into the z-score formula. I'm still dividing by the square root of 10. And now I'm going to get a z-score that I'll be using of 0 0.53. And just like I did on the prior problem, I look up the further away one to find 70.19 in the table, the closer to the left z-score to get 0.0571, and subtract those to get 6448, which is the answer that I need to come play in my answer box. For 64.5% chance. Now in this problem, so in this problem, the group average had a higher percentage than the individual average, which is the opposite of a prior problem we had just solved. Um, so let's talk about that again, and let's start with a sentence down at the bottom. It's more common for one person to deviate from the mean, the center, the middle, than a group which balances themselves out back to the middle, to the center. So this is what we were saying is, that one person could have been older than 29 or younger than 25 when they got their bachelor's degree. And that could be same thing in a group of 10, but for that one person who was older or younger than our age group, there was probably another person who was dead center in the middle. And so they kind of kept averaging everybody back to that middle.